Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So today we're going to be testing the Eosheen TX1200. So this is stating that it can go up to 1000 milliwatts, which is also one watt. And we're going to test that out today. I do have the RF meter from Emergent RC and I do have a spectrum analyzer. Hopefully it should be here next month sometime. But meanwhile, we can get a clear idea of if it's actually performing as they're stating or not. So some of the things it comes with, they provide you with MMCX to SMA also MMCX to dipolar antenna and a pre-made wire here which is really nice and this thing does support smart audio and does have a 5 volt output for your camera and as well as 7 to 26 volt input so you'll be totally fine giving it battery input and um, filtration looks minimal so keep that in mind it's always recommended to add low ESR capacitor to your quadcopter and it does have a microphone as you can tell right there so if you wanted something with a microphone you got that right here so I'm gonna go ahead and power this off on a 3S LiPo we're only gonna test one channel I've tested a couple channels because this thing jumps by 50 megahertz increments so I'm going to be testing the, the milliwatt output on the race channel and we're gonna go ahead and test out race channel 1 uh, because that is the closest I got to uh, the the pre-programmed channels on the RF meter here. And if we take a closer look, the R-band channel 1, which is R1, is going to be 5,658 megahertz. So let's go ahead and connect this guy up. All right, so there we go. It's connected. So currently it's broadcasting at 25 milliwatts. If we take a closer look here, it's at 25 milliwatts. R band and then channel one on the R band, which is the 5658, I think. And uh, this is already set up to go ahead and measure that. So currently it's at 25 milliwatts on the, it's set to 25 milliwatts on the VTX. And we're getting 30, close to 30 milliwatts here. Now, if for some reason, after a while, it'll actually drop down to 25, not because it gets hot. Once I start switching the milliwatt power, uh, when I come back to 25, it'll broadcast around 25. So I would say it's 25 output is anywhere between 25 and 30 milliwatts. And this thing can do 200, 600, and 1000 milliwatts. So now let's go ahead and set it up on the 200. And what you have to do is hold this until the green one blinks right there. Okay, there we go. And now we can switch it and we got, now it's on 200 and here I'm getting 250 milliwatts. So it's it's outputting a little bit more than they're actually stating. Now we're at 600 milliwatts and it is outputting roughly 600 milliwatts, almost. It's 585 milliwatts, so it's, it's close. But now it's the moment of truth. Does this output actually one watt? So let's go ahead and get an idea. And there we go. And I change the channel again. All right, and Boom, now we're at 1000 milliwatts or one watt and it's giving us 720 milliwatts. So it's not really uh, getting anywhere close to what they're stating or advertising at uh, 1000 watts. Now, if you take a closer look now, after the 1000, I've gone ahead and dropped it down to 25 milliwatts. And as you can tell, it's way below 25 milliwatts. It's around 20. It's not that because it's hot. It's actually not even that toasty right now. And the shop here is pretty cold and pretty cool. It's slowly starting to creep back up to 25 milliwatts, as you can tell right there. So overall, it's if you're gonna be using it around 200 milliwatts, you're gonna be getting anywhere between uh, 200 and 250. So it's it's close up to the 600 milliwatts. But again, if you're racing, I don't think you would want to use this VTX because you'll probably be stomping on everybody else's VTX. But if you're just like me and flying it, putting it in your wing, it'll do just fine. But again, if you're looking for that one watt power this is not uh, outputting that one watt power i've checked on a couple channels the maximum i got was around 825 milliwatts but other than that hoping that this is truly calibrated and it is working correctly unfortunately i can't really test that i just have to go by emergent rc's word here uh so yeah hoping that this is actually correct and um yeah this is the type of test we just got and it does tend to lose milliwatts when you switch through the uh um power output but i just don't know how reliable this thing is i'm hoping i'm taking you know their word that it's really calibrated and eventually i'll have more testing equipment to see if this stuff is is really calibrated as you saw it it, it at, at the beginning at 25 milliwatts actually outputting around 30 so if you're going to be using this for racing i try not to but if you're just like me this is going to do just fine but then again if you're looking for something that really gives one watt of power this is not really doing it but it does reach at 600 as stated so if you're looking for 600 you're going to be fine anywhere between 550 to 600 milliwatts at 200 milliwatts it broadcasts is slightly more around 50 more milliwatts here and um yeah and that's really it that's all i can currently say guys i really hope you enjoyed the video 
this is my little overview slash review of this VTX. And if you guys have any questions or any suggestions, feel free to let me know. And check the links down below. Those greatly support the channel. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.